Hi! <laughs> I, uh, I don't even know where to start. Today it is the um, 14th of December 2021. It is exactly 10 days before Christmas. It is 780 days before we get married. What? <laughs> the reason why I started vlogging is because I want to document everything leading up to the wedding, the wedding itself and um, the honeymoon. <laughs> I wish I could show you my engagement ring. Unfortunately, um, it's being fixed right now um, so I can wear it for a long, long time. So as soon as I have it, I'll show it to you again. I am, by the way, wearing my engagement necklace. It's, uh, it's almost Christmas. But it feels like I've already had my Christmas like three times over. It's uh, it's amazing. Liam is very very happy. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, we are um, getting married. Yeah. Plus, I want to start documenting my um, weight losing progress because. Currently, I am weighing 152 kilos, and when we get married, I want to wear my dress properly and weigh 80 kilos. So there is uh, a lot of weight to be lost, and I am determined to go do this. So yeah, <laughs> let's uh, let's start this off. Um, just for fun, I'll show you what the house looks like. Hi, good morning. I know, I know, I know. We got more than two years to go, but if you only know me a little bit, you know that when my brain catches onto something, it kind of needs to go do it. And when I had the idea of what invitations I wanted to do, I, <laughs> I, uh, I started doing them. So I'll show you a little bit what they look like. So this is the inspiration sheet that I made for the invitations. And these are the scroll rolls that I want to make for um, the big invitation when uh, you're being invited to the castle. Uh, that's the scroll that I want to use. That's like right there. These are meant uh, for the party, which are those. I've already got my envelopes done. I even have my post stamps done. And I'm already working on the scroll rods, which um, were very expensive, so I'm just making them by hand. Um, besides a little nice thing, yesterday Robin's door came in, which is like a promised bracelet. Since I've got a engagement ring, which is still being fixed, he's, uh, he's got a bracelet and it's really pretty and it's kind of um, brave inspired. That's, uh, that's his bracelet. You like it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, things are uh, things are happening already. <laughs> well, when I said I didn't know where to start, I clearly wasn't kidding because so far I've been kind of all over the place. I said we're getting married, um, and then I went straight into look, I've made invitations, even though we still have two years to go. <laughs> In the meantime, I haven't said anything about our plans or anything surrounding that. So um, I wanted to take a moment to just explain what we're going to do. We have decided to get married in a castle in Utrecht in the Netherlands. And we want to do a Disney-inspired wedding. 
Our favorite Disney film is Tangled, and that is mostly because we can identify with the characters more than in any other Disney film. I know I call it our Disney fairy tale wedding, and that is not because it is being planned by Disney fairy tale weddings, but we are very much inspired by them, and uh, we don't actually want to hire a wedding planner. We just want to plan the whole wedding ourselves. And starting two years in advance, there are two things that we like to accomplish with that. One is we want to be over the whole Corona situation because currently we are in another lockdown. All the shops are closed and people need to stay home. Go have a wedding in that, exactly. Um, second of all, we have a specific date, which is the 2nd of February 2024. And we just want to go have everything we want on that day. So we want the castle, we want the restaurant, we want the cafe afterwards where we have our big party. I personally am um, a, a bit of a control freak, a perfectionist, and I am quite creative. So I kind of took the whole wedding in my hands. The honeymoon in Orlando, Florida is going to exist out of three parts. We're going to start in Walt Disney World. And then after five days, we will go to Universal Studios for three days. And then we'll have a five day Disney cruise. I have already done quite a bit which some people might find early but the reason is that we've already had our wedding plans like even before we got engaged so we had a clear image of what we wanted to do now that we've got the finances to do it all um i had the all clear to go start doing things so in a moment i'll show you what i've already done and then in january we were going to do a tour through the different locations that we want to go to. Unfortunately, the lockdown is still the 14th of January and our tour is gonna be on the 13th of January. So I still need to make contact with all the locations to see if that is still a go or if we need to reschedule it to another date. Um, obviously, I'm going to take my camera and I'm gonna take you on this tour. That's why I wanna do the whole thing in parts because it is going to be two years and there's probably a shitload that I wanna share with you guys. Let me show you what I've done already. We already got our wedding rings. That is like one thing that we've looked for for a long time. And Robin actually found the perfect wedding rings, which I'll show properly in a moment. But yeah, they've got Mickey's on them. Obviously they've got Mickey's on them. And I've already done a few things like make the wedding presents for the guests. And my invitations I showed last time. Um, so like I said, I'm probably doing things a little early. That's because I've got ideas and then I wanna go do them because otherwise it's gonna haunt me and it's going to distract from other things I need to do because life is still doing its thing so I need to work and I still need to go to school and all that stuff and I need the space in my head to go do these things so if I make sure I've already had these done then I can relax and focus on other things what I forgot to mention by the way is that I've got my engagement ring back um, Unfortunately, I'm not very happy with the way they fixed it because the little flower on the front has got like a rose gold layer over it. Um, and I fear that they made a bit of a color mistake, don't ask me how, but they might have given it a white gold layer on top of the rose gold. But um, I've already emailed the company asking um, what happens and what they're going to do to fix it. Because obviously I wanna wear this ring for the rest of my life and not be annoyed with it every time I see it. So yeah, that happened. And this is the end of part one of my vlog. Uh, hopefully on the 13th of January, I can 
share the tour to our wedding locations with you guys. Um, so hopefully I'll see you then. Bye.